Happy holidays everybody! Dawn Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. So the holidays are upon us and it's time to make those Christmas cards. So I'll be in mass mode production. I'm starting my holiday card series with this one card here. I did this card on um, Instagram Live with Jamie Madison a couple weeks ago. I'm using the cool Christmas stamp set from My Favorite Things. And I will be doing a couple of uh, cards to you today, a couple different variations of the card I did on Instagram. When I did it on Instagram, we were following the uh, My Favorite Things color challenge, and you could only use red, aqua, and silver, I believe that was, and some neutral colors. So that's why my trees are aqua. Anyway, I like the way that card came out. So I'll be using some normal colors, regular colors, on my two that I'm doing today. And yeah. I'll be doing some Copic coloring. So I'm going to leave you with the Copic coloring and I'm going to tune on, turn on some Christmas music for you to enjoy while I do that. Um, unfortunately, I'm not able to talk along with you as I Copic color because my computer, not my computer, it's the editing software. It doesn't render fast enough. And I upped it six times fast. All right, so enjoy. Hello, I'm back. So I hope you enjoyed my Copic coloring. I think I'm getting a little bit better at it. <laughs> I have a hard time with red though. I gotta tell you that. Sometimes I just, I don't know, I bleed it so bad. Anyway, I am using some pattern paper here. I'm gonna put that for my background and I'm using it from various paper packs. One from Lawn Fawn, one from My Favorite Things, and there's one from Whimsy Stamp that was from last year that's not available anymore. But 
I did link all my supplies down in the description below and they are also on my blog for my blog post so go check out my blog anyway I sped that video up eight times fast not six times fast and it's the vid video editing software I use I use Mavavi I picked it because it was the easiest um, software to work with it's kind of like software for people who don't get how to who don't have a clue how to edit anyway it's very slow at rendering very you can only go three times fast and even sometimes it don't want to do three times fast so I did eight times fast and I'm not able to follow along that's why I leave you with the music but I do have some new editing software I'm happy to report so as of January hopefully I'll get it and I will I will be doing my new videos my newer videos in January with the um, new editing software as long as I understand it and get it um, so far so good I'm learning on it now that's why I'm not using it now it's still a learning process I have to still work on my old stuff anyway I'm assembling my cards here now I um, cut some trees out as well with the um, on the pattern paper and um, heat emboss them with uh, Simon Says embossing powder and I am cutting my sentiments out that I used um, I used the marker uh, the color that I used the colors that I used for um, the cars to make my sentiment banners to match my cardstock so uh, yeah yeah so new editing software and hopefully Christmas time I'll be getting a new um, lens for my camera and I'll be able to zoom out more so zoom in zoom out so I can move my camera back from my desk it's literally right in front of my face and um, it's just both good and bad good because I tend to get my head in the way as you can see right here I look over my desk I, I pull see there's my head and I pull my desk uh, my work close to the edge of the desk and get my head in the way with my camera the way it is now you see it less right now it's not in a good position I have it cocked out so it, you can see more of my desk I mean more of me than my desk um, yeah anyway so I'll be working with that I did move my uh, Tim Holtz media mat so um, I move it when I do a video and I put my old mat up so that there's no more glare because I forget to move my light sometimes and uh, I'll probably forget to move my mat sometimes <laughs> until I figure out how to get the lights to not glare without me having to move them because I forget to move them and, so, and they actually get in my way they drive me insane so yeah some new things coming up in January I hope you're all looking looking forward to the holidays I am I love the holidays it's the most wonderful time of the year as they say Christmas music Christmas cards um, Christmas decorations I'm putting my decorations up this coming weekend so I haven't done it yet I don't do it the, the day after Thanksgiving like a lot of people do we used to do that when I was a kid growing up but I don't I usually put it up the first week of December first weekend in December I told my son I want to put it up as soon as possible this year because I want to enjoy the lights and the decorations and everything for as long as possible <laughs> so we have to do a massive clean though first I like the house to be perfectly clean before we pull the decorations out and it needs a little cleaning anyway so that's my card I'm assembling it now putting my sentiment on there yeah so I'll be putting some stickles on the snow that I cut out by hand I cut the um, snow banks by hand instead of using a stitch die because why use a stitch die you're not going to see the stitching because of the um, stickles so I didn't bother using the die <clears throat> excuse my voice so yeah excuse my nails too <laughs> they kind of grown out a little bit so I need to uh, get a fill I'm going tomorrow anyway I do stamp inside my cards I don't show you it for some reason I didn't do it but I do do them I I uh, stamp sentiments in my card as well as images um, especially at Christmas time and I have a stamp that I use in the back that I think you got a quick peek of uh, that says handmade by Dawn Marie handmade with love by Dawn Marie that's what it says so yeah 
I love Christmas cards. I love to make them. I love this 5x5 five five format that I'm using right now. I don't know if I'll love it once I go to the post office because I think you need to pay extra postage when it's a different um, size, when it's a square card, I believe. So anyway, that's my card. Here's some close-up photos. The supplies I use are in the description below and also on my blog. Uh, why don't you leave me a comment with any questions or suggestions or if you'd like you could just say happy holidays or Merry Christmas whatever takes your fancy um, I'll be back with a new video hopefully Friday possibly Monday <laughs> we'll see life is busy life is busy I hope you enjoyed today's card using the stamp set from my favorite things called cool Christmas and if you did why not go ahead and give it a thumbs up why not and while you're at it you could subscribe if you're not already you know I'd love your support so that is my card for today here comes the picture of the green one I can't decide I think I like the red one better because I like the background I did dot the sky with the stickles as well to make this this uh, sh uh, sun shiny and I sprayed it with some uh, glimmer dust so yeah I did a lot of sparkly things to it so I appreciate you watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Bye now.